What up everybody, it's Holy Joe Rock and Roll, the man with the tan who's always got a plan. Today we are trash talking Western Union. I don't give a rat's ass who invented Western Union, but it sucks today. Let me give you an example. I had to send 55 bucks to somebody in the US. Now I did everything online, from a US account to a US person, and they want to charge you $11.99. So I asked, so just ask, there's a little help button there, I ask for a discount, that's crazy, over 20% to send 55 bucks? And they gave me a one-time courtesy discount, so I paid $5.99 instead of $11.99. Now still a complete ripoff, people, PayPal is free. If you wanna exchange money with people, get PayPal, it's free, all right? So then, the next day, turns out I had to say send the same person $95.20. I get online, I try to do it again, I ask for another courtesy discount, they give it to me, but it doesn't work. Uh, they send you an email saying that your transaction is complete, however they're verifying things, um, and they tried to call me. They, my phone never rang. So I called the number, I waited for about five minutes to finally get to somebody, then they said, that it was a security issue and you had to be transferred to another line. I waited like basically about 12 minutes before I talked to some freaking idiot either in Bangladesh or Pakistan or the Philippines. I don't know where the hell they were. They were obviously on a voiceover IP network. It was choppity choppity. I couldn't even hear that. I couldn't understand the questions. Then they're asking you the stupidest questions to validate somebody. Folks, asking me my name, asking me my birth date. Asking me the last four digits of my credit card number does not verify who I am. It only verifies that someone either A, is me, or B, has all my information, right? So what does that verify, really? Doesn't. And, and if I was not me, why would I call you, okay? To scam you for $95.20, going to a person that you can track down, at least you know the name of the money that it's going to. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So that transaction was was denied. I waited a day. I tried it again. I waited for the phone call. I waited by the phone call an hour and 30 minutes later. They didn't call. I shut down. I shut down my computer, which is where my phone is. It's my I have a voice over IP phone. One minute after I shut down, they called me. So I could see that they had called, because that's how my system works. So I fired things back up again, called them back, and now I'm not sure who I got to. Same procedure. Your transaction is pending a security investigation or security validation. So now I talked to a woman who spoke good English. Maybe she was in the US. I'm not sure. I don't know. But at least she spoke you know, very clear English. Probably she was not American. And she's asking me the stupidest ass questions. She didn't ask me my date of birth. She asked me how old I was. She asked me my name. She asked me, what is the relationship between you and the person you're sending your money to? It's $95.20, you stupid bitch. Who gives a fuck what my relationship is with the person that I'm sending the money to? They didn't ask, do you know this person? I wouldn't be sending money to someone that I didn't know, okay? So ridiculous. And then, after 20 minutes on the phone, I swear it was 20 minutes, she tells me that my bank denied the transaction. I need to contact my bank. That's Western Union for you folks. Don't use it. Oh, oh, P.S. Oh, P.S. So I decided I would go to the local Western Union store, whatever, kiosk, and just send the money direct, man to man. Now these assholes are like, what are they doing? They want to see my identification card? They want to copy down all my information? I'm sending some money. Who the fuck cares who the fuck I am? Just send my money, right? And I have a 50% discount because of my bad experience before. So I give it to them and I say, I have a 50% discount. There's the code, enter it in there. No discount, they wanna charge me $20 if I go in person 
60 zlotys exactly, 59, 88, 59 zlotys, 88 grosh, which is 60 zlotys. Well, definitely at today's exchange rate, let's say it's $15, more than $15. To send $95.20. Oh, they wouldn't let me send 20 cents. I would have to send 95 or 100 because they didn't have change. I'm saying, listen, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? They thought, they said that I would have to exchange my dollars into Polish multis and then I could pay in Polish multis. I said, I have $100 right here. I'm paying $95.20. So why don't you just give me change in Polish multis? They can't do that. Oh, and I have to pay the fee in Polish multis. So after waiting for 30 minutes, two phone calls, two phone calls, <coughs> two phone calls to Western Union head offices or whatever. I ended up canceling the transaction. And you know what? I'm gonna mail cash. And that's gonna be it. No more Western Union. I swear to you people, do not use Western Union. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. PayPal is free, people. PayPal is free. Use it. Until next time, I'm Holy Joe Rock and Roll. I'm mad, I'm pissed off. And I hate Western Union. The end. Peace out. Until next time. <laughs>